what what caught my eye here with this uh, Apple antitrust hearing um, with uh, the company Tile likening the Find My Network um, to a hostage program and the App Store and all that. I mean, um, broadly speaking, um, I think this is the uh, the Sherlock effect, I believe it's called, where the first uh, this you know it's readily available on uh, online if you want to read up about that. But essentially, it was Apple introducing the Spotlight feature into Mac into Mac OS and uh, basically killing off the third party software uh, provider that was doing it for them. And Apple has had a history of doing this to other companies, and the latest one that's uh, come up is Tile, because um, with a- Apple's introduction of AirTags, um, effectively Tile doesn't really have a reason to exist anymore as a business and um it, so the the claim being is apple you know using its uh, market dominance to um you know squash people out M- maybe but then there's also the counter argument which is <clears throat> if you're flying too close to the sun with your business um you better be prepared um for, to be burnt um because it seems like their entire business was around a a potential product that Apple was just going to subsume at some point anyway. Yeah, look, absolutely. And, and you know, look, I, I would think now, I mean, Tile has been around for quite a while. Mm. It, it, it's easy. I mean, uh, you know, I've got a friend who's got an iWatch with a Find My iWatch sort of, mm. so, and he uses that so he can be tracked you know, for, for personal reasons with his family and that sort of stuff. So, you know, the, the idea that Apple can create tags is, is no big deal. Like, you know, mm. the Find My Device is the same, exactly the same principle as Tile. Tile is actually old technology now mm. because all the systems can do it. I mean, Google are tracking you wherever you go. They're just not admitting it. <laughs> but, 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 I mean, you know, it won't be long before they come out with with their own, uh, like, uh, tags as well. It, it, you know, it's it's one of those things. It's, I guess, 20 years ago you would have had earphone makers. Sony still makes earbuds and that sort of thing. Mm. But let's face it, you know, they didn't cry foul when Apple introduced buds. Mm. So... I, I think this is actually technology moving on and, and this is what's being subsumed. It's, it's not actually, in this instance, particularly anything to do with Apple trying to, uh, you know, uh, take out competition. Yeah, well, they're um, just effectively looking for ways to, you know, continually suck people into their ecosystem and keep them That's there. That's right. And this yeah. is just yet another ex- another product that they can sell you at a higher price to, um, I, I, to stay there. <laughs> I did have a chuckle about it being like a prison. I thought that was uh, pretty <laughs> funny. Like, and, and they're right, but it, it just depends which side of the fence you want to be on. Do you want to be behind the Apple fence where Apple owns you but at least uh, they might not exploit you as badly as outside the fence, which is, as I was saying before, Ben, if you're on an Android phone, you're getting ripped off every second of the day. Like your data, your privacy, everything's out the window. So, you know, you can say Apple's, you know, running some sort of gulag or something like that, you know, with Apple education, (laughs) you know, for for the Apple uh, fans or whatever, but, the exterior of that system is is no better. So maybe Apple's actually really just giving everyone a choice. And as a corollary, um, I guess to our first two topics, there's also the, I guess, if you think about big tech in general and its place in society on these types of things, um, uh, that there's st- there's still a long way to go until um, an equalization or not an equalization equilibrium is developed about what their place is and how we interact with them and all that sort of thing. It's, it still seems like we've progressed we've maybe progressed further than the Wild West stage, but it's still kind of rough out there um, potentially. <laughs> it's, it's it's exceedingly rough. I mean, <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> Look, yeah, we're getting absolutely our data's being scraped off off anything we touch. You know, yeah. like uh, so. Anyway, I, I, look, I think it's a matter of perspective. I, I do think what's interesting is viewing Apple that way. Uh, in particular, the way they're trying to paint them in the antitrust case is interesting because you probably couldn't have done that four or five years ago. Mm. You know, like uh, we've seen a lot of changes. Uh, to the way they're trying to regulate big tech. And I think this is 
just one of them. But, I mean, honestly, as I said before, it's, it's an either or. I mean, you have a choice not to be with Apple and then you can go out and, and, and experience the other kind of life, which I've been doing for a few years now, and it ain't that great. <laughs> 